Breaking all of that glass will mask some steps and Davy G has gone across. One X bet odds are flipped. Wow, they actually favor the Moby Star Riders, and I would too on this round as Diha catches flat. Great shot out of Hades, but immediately put in his place. Oh, wow, Diha just stuck around with the duelies and does manage to take one at least. That is actually good work considering the circumstances right there for Diha. Three on three, mid round begin. Madden's starting to push the issue towards the B bomb site. Could catch them off guard with this aggression. I mean, you're not expecting this, are you? Let's see how the jiggles look. Oh, he just looked away. Timing again of Counter-Strike oh. coming back to bite them as they propel themselves into B. And remember, Death's is middle on the lurk. Yeah, okay. I mean, he's at least swept close mid. He knows he's not going to be punished if he just sticks around for the fight here on B. Smoked off. Looks to reposition. Mopoz down and out. That's the bomb delivered. Good click out of Spinks. And Snappy, Snappy has found another through mid. And just like that, they recover. Oh, getting loud. And uh, look, uh, I know we're talking about the yelling and, and, the, and the whole back and forth and maybe not trying to play into that game that um, obviously our riders are enjoying so much, but Snappy's always loud. If you've seen any of those fun videos we do with the players where the sounds of land, Snappy's the one that catches everybody off guard because Marco is yelling like a bat out of hell. But some beautiful shots here from Snappy and Sphinx combined to mop this one up. And Deaths, they were ready for the lurk. Hades trying to get activated in this one now. That's going to feel great, especially considering some of the ways they did catch Flack early. Diha catching bullets, still takes one. Madden. Oh, it's a hard fama spray. He could be punished for it. It's only a Glock, though, up against him, and so does get away. Yeah, happy to get away there. And this is the thing. That's the first Ents pistol within this series Good as well. Point. They lost both pistols over there on Mirage, and the game still went 16-14. So knowing if they can convert one, likely to bounce back into this. And if they get to nuke, I think Ents come back into being the favorites within that series. I would agree with you. Yeah, I do think Movi have been given a real opportunity to, to take it here. Take it now on your map pick. It gets much more blurry uh, if you find yourselves on nuke against Ents. Ents have got one of the more intimidating and avant-garde nukes in the pool. And I want to just to reflect for you, when we were doing some of the Movie Star Riders throughout the group stage, there were certain moments on nuke, especially in the mid-rounds, where we were start scratching our heads with some crazy decisions or, or maybe just odd calls that were being made. But we do get into the guns quite early here. The full eco has afforded the riders to the early rifles. And no temptation from Hades to peer on over. Snappy, though, not afraid to glare on down and get peppered on through. The AKs with a light tickle of damage. The nade back to chip away at Alex here, but that is the early jaunt concluded. It's just Snappy and Hades holding A. Yeah, they're going for a two-man B setup this time. It's not very commonplace. And, ooh, look at that flash. Look at that swing. He gets one and no trade available. I like that flash. Have you seen that before? I like that one a lot. <laughs> That's a hottie for the Sandbags duel. Oh, that is just going to contain over towards B. And now question marks for the riders. They know that they're constricted. They have to worry about a B push. And if they want to return to that side of the map, a lot of corners to clear. A minute on the clock and a molly for this position would be fantastic. Snappy is low. And the teammate Smoke of Sphinx is on the wrong side of the map. So he will burn on down if that $400 bottle, bottle of flames finds his roost. It's pricey, isn't it? You think that'd be cheaper? I think I'd rather just have a nice bottle of red. Oh dear. Okay, well, Snappy's just gonna win the round, I guess. Charging through, does go down. Chunks Davy as yeah. well. Like, this is like a 2.5 versus 4, and ooh, it gets worse. Death has to be a real hero here, and he's just looked unprepared for Hades to re advance to stick around, and the Famas finds two. If they can pick up these AKs here, if they can take this out of Davy's hand, everybody could get a nice little upgrade as here he comes. D Hart from behind, and well, looking the wrong way, still pivots in with the MP9, and those upgrades, look at him. AKs, oh. M4s, it's beautiful. This is a dream start for Ents now. You really couldn't ask for more. Look how much cash in the coffers. He got six grand just in the bank for the majority or close to it. This is <laughs> get away this with is, this. This is snappy, <laughs> definitely. I mean, let's not forget he had a real slow mirage. Yeah. This is going to do wonders. And I don't know, I mean, you've spoken about it before, but in-game leaders tend to be calling a whole lot better if they're in the game. Yeah, you're feeling yourself, right? If you know you're getting away with certain plays, then you know what gaps you can exploit. It helps to move your dukes around the borders. We do see just a bit of a light purchase coming on through from the riders. Some Tech-9, a Deagle, a P250, and a Molly up the ramp to try and hold them at base. Snappy licked down early, 52 points of health remains, and they are just continuing with this two-man hold on A early. Madden is in support right now for the elevator room, but if you feel yourself too much, Snappy, you might be handing a gun over to enemy lines. Three AKs up against you. I mean, you know, in terms of objectives for this uh, light bite, it would be really nice to take a couple of them away. Yeah, just make sure that the CT economy can't get too out of control. Now, Hades is posted up in my least favorite position. Maybe you heard me. It's on a 
paddle back and forth. That is just against the pistols. So. As long as he's not hugging the girder, I think yeah, that's when we really... His, that's right. When he's baiting, you know, and he's hoping to play it on a timing, it, it, it doesn't... Haven't seen it work. Once it doesn't work, I'm sure it has. Just Very not, politically uh, correct of you there. Yeah, well, you know, th there's people out there. They're patrolling and controlling. And they're allowing them to have a lot of space towards B here. Dihar is transitioning back towards default as Sphinx is gluing himself up towards the Jenny. Oh, wow. On, just on the timing, Dihar's going to put a couple of bullets into the boards. Doesn't finish off Mopoz, but I think Sphinx has got a good few ahead of him. Oh, their health. They're just getting mowed down. And yeah, not a single problem. You framed it from what could be good for the riders, for the Spaniards to get away with a round like this. Well, the best case for Ents is to keep everybody alive and have 7.2k on your Orpa, 8.2 on Dihar. You've got 9k for Sphinx and you're four rounds into play. Yeah. So this is a beautiful start for Ents. I think that last map might have shaken them into this. And we've got a fan cans again. Maybe love and life. And uh, we are getting into the gun round as the AWP is in the hands of some pious now. Two towards middle, Alex and Deaths on the mid crawl. Look at that. So they dump B utility together and then walk to mid together. This little partnership has got legs. Four of them. Yeah, you need them to move. And move straight into potential double. They find it, win out the engagement. This is running B. Just five HP in it. And that's because the B player was last seen mid. Look at the gap he's trying to take. Stalled out, big rotation, Davi pushing. Big, big jewel, but the fact he's taken Snappy out makes them guess and scratch their heads. You can see there's uncertainty brewing now. Is this a commitment? Is this just one man with his U-tilt? Extinguish and a rotation, Madden's there. Davi G needs to survive. They completely left B. If, if Hades continues to push forward and clears out gap and sure, he can make sure that Madden and Diha can get back over. Smoking a flash for some pies in the go. Playing retake on this B bomb site, Arents. A deep smoke he's thrown. Where does it go? Oh, it's lovely. Just as it, the gap is completely occupied, Mopo's only susceptible to the strafe. He's even pre aiming the gap, and so is Sun Pius, a great find. Mommy Star Riders just building off of this exploited information. That's the strafe we were talking about, and Sun Pius is down. Mopo's caught asleep. Does punish Diha. Is Hades really going to go all the way in for this? He's walking into the smoke. Will be able to perhaps worm his way around. Exploit. Mopos, no. He's ready for the adjustment. And Mopos parked himself on B very early and is a big part of how they post their first round. Yeah, they reacted to that mid-rotation, right? It, it looked good. They were able to trade out efficiently, but the space taken, you had two links to that. It was Davi G taking the fight towards A and winning out against Snappy and, and Mopos parking himself aggressively B. That meant that they had a lot of early info. You can see just here on the cusp of the smoke, a nice shot from some pious there. And you're seeing more of this these days. Players aren't standing and looking at smokes anymore because there's so much playing in the fade, right? You play as it starts to fade, then you peer on out and you double check your corners. So getting punished there, Hades is plenty of cash for the buy, but if Ents lose another, then they're in question. Big nade onto Dest there. That one destined for his head and up and over again. Oh, another two-man mid setup. Oh, and he's does manage to go one for one. Big play out of Alex to choose a target. Not always the easiest to do. Some pious has missed his. Keep fighting. They're still fighting. Jumps through, evades the shot. Hades has ram. But Davi's up scaffolding. Hades isn't looking at this. Yeah, and Snappy's not got it. Doesn't have it. Dead to right. Hades does tuck in Sun Pius tight. Swings on the smoke short. Careful now. Yeah, Davi G could be next. Just as easy as that, Snappy feels like he has all the time in the world for these jewels and just evenly trading back and forth maintains the advantage for Ents. Marpoz, he was around middle. And he's got 50 seconds to try and piece this one together, but already Ents are going to go straight back to their winning ways. Yeah, I just want to highlight it's a bit of confidence there from Ents to continue to take that fight because it felt like there was more than enough pressure and only two of them holding, right? There was the gap that could have potentially been exploited there from Davi G if he pushed on up but didn't want to risk going down to Snappy's position. And now with 30 seconds left, Mopoz can scoop up this bomb. He doesn't have any utility to his name, so... They're all here. Yeah, they are all here. <laughs> I don't know how, why or how, but they're happy to gamble. Assuming Mopoz is just going to walk on in. Very much the right assumption. Planning safe side. Well, not safe. It's about to find out. Gets, gets it down. Gets a frag. Gets another. Okay. 
Oh, that got a little sketchy, a little etch a sketch for Ents. I see what type of game we're playing now, Ents. Okay, all right. Uh, look, that is a lot to lose in a round like that, but if Hades got that knife kill, I, I can see what he was going for. Oh. As rifles for the rest, you two slightly skimp for a few. Oh, and a shot from Hades going awry. Alex looking to pressure the position. Running through the board, doesn't find anything done, but they know where the orc was last seen, last spotted. Some passes, big green has been tagged on down to 74. Imagine if the guns took damage and not the players. What? Oh no, he's got a broken AK. In the 1v1, he has to use the knife. It's jammed, Alex, it's, it's jammed. jammed. That'd be one way to kill Counter-Strike, couldn't it? In one change alone. Snappy, the prying eyes. It's in enough. They get not out of dodge here. Flash forward. Three of them are here. Snappy does like a cursory glance, and this Doesn't time... Doesn't Some fires is fired off the warning shot. Might be the green light for Snappy to call for a flash. He has a supportive one available, should Madden be required. Three Ooh, smokes Confirmation of, of Sandbag's presence, and Hades has taken down Mopoz. But this... Has to get problematic now for the Movistar Riders. The whole squad is here. 40 seconds for this engagement. It falls to a Galil VM4. Jewel is crossed there. Good, but the frag is better from Deaths. Good nade. Woof. They are really, really almost all half health. 60 ain't great. Madden can change that even more so. Run boost across. Good exploit of the gap. Oh, and a missed shot from some pious. Missed opportunity. Won't make the same mistake again as Madden overextends, and they are so low. They are so low. Deho in a 2v4. He could do a lot of damage here, and he is so tucked in. Davi G's second victim, and now some pious getting sweaty palms. We've got kids for this. They have time to go for it. Hades is posted on you. If you show your head, now they're clearing. Oh, some pious. Oh, gets him. Oh, and gives him the jewel. This 2v4 is taking shape, and it's done. Ends will take it, 2v4, and that will break the hearts of many a Spaniard. <laughs> Deher and Hades, that was all them. That is some massive shots out of Hades right there. Like that last one indeed, just flicking around with the AWP, massive start from the poles. Oh, that's gonna hurt, that is gonna hurt. Let's see this again. So Hades, this is how he finds the opening. He kills Mopples on B and closes on A. Yeah, I think Alex getting a bit ahead of himself by going up and over. Give us one over. This one here, look at this. Orbs flicking around everywhere and plenty of time to get the orb on the noggin. Both with the headshots and a huge round to win. The bomb going down again and back into the buys. A bit more pressure towards B and the opening kill from St. Pius has come on through. Hades has gone down early here. Ooh, the testosterone is flowing in the studio. Six to one, the scoreline. Movistar Riders, this is their pick. They need to post one soon. Smoked off and progressing nonetheless. It's Deha. It's his sight. Chips away with some nade damage. Does have a little bit of a boost spot. He did be alive. He saw his head, and you can see the frustration in his in-game body language. Not going to be satisfied with that missed opportunity. They have so much room to work with right now. A uh, four on five that early for the T side on Vertigo. They will be corralled back by that deep smoke, and they that's don't... only going to buy them about 20 seconds. They really don't need to rush this. Not at all. Don't give back a kill. Don't allow this to be leveled up into a four on four. Be patient. Wait out the CTU till regroup, trade out efficiently, and get this one done. Snappy at this point is isolated, alone, and actively contesting. You could drop the one way to threaten. That's the thing. What's the timing on this, right? Well, apparently now. Oh, that will spook you. That's going to spook you. You have to be very careful uh, around this smoke. And if, if Snappy pivots towards the sandbag position, there is only one Molotov on deaths. Now, looks like, taking a look at the radar, they've had enough of A. They're heading back towards B, and Snappy's called it clear. That is a massive play. Sphinx is immediately bolstering the site with Deha, and here comes Madden. Even Flash for his initial info. Oh, boy. 20 seconds, lads. The whole squad is here. You're going 5v4 into the stacked site, and they're lining up for them. Big one from Davi G. 15 and counting. Bomb needs to go down. There's two here to defend, and Spinks is doing a bang-up job. Trades are good, but Bomb's loose in nine seconds. Nine. Nine. Get planting now. Four. He's just maybe... I don't know if there's time. There's time. Oh. oh, disaster strikes again for the Movistar Riders. First the 2v4, and now the clock, their biggest enemy. Yikes, that is a huge play from Snappy. That info play is massive. And to know that it's what... 
point five of a second. That yeah. is the difference maker yeah. right there from and getting the bomb down or not. You were wondering about the timing on that one way. Clearly, Snappy's so in tune because by throwing it, he still had time to sweep through on it and cool the ramp clear safely. Yeah, that is a huge play for Oh Snappy. man, some Pius is gonna be kicking himself as well. He was hitting the shot necessary. It was just Death unable to get that default spot in time. I think that's the problem as well. You want to plan safe. Yeah. Right? You want to make sure that the bomb goes down in a safe position. Snappy, yeah. are you crazy? He wants that gab. He is crazy. Flash doesn't affect him at all. Uh -huh. This can end very badly. Sprays through. Look so at the damage. damage. They are shadows of their former selves. Keep the frags coming. Davi G, good for it. Does avoid putting his head in Hades scope. The one way dropped. It's going to stall them out here. Great defensive reactions out of Ents. Hades responsible for sure. Dihar still has a nade. Some pies can't see him over that one way. And he has managed to find it as it fades. Spinks over extends. Just two. It can't happen again. It's Dihar and Hades the same that broke the hearts of Marvy Star Riders once. Can it happen again? This time the clock, no issue, but Hades is. Pops one, they're jumping into his jaws, Chad. Hades racks him up, Dia does two, a 1v1. Dia's got the health, and Alex goes down, the two of them, they've turned it around again. Who cares about a two-man advantage when these two are in the server? Oh, this Polish duo right here is doing so much work for the squad on Vertigo. You take a look at the scores on the doors, both of which 12 kills to each of their names. So massive work here. As with Sphinx going down, it just lures them further into the site. Hades, head on a swivel. Back and forth he goes with the AWP. And again, the two of them in a 2 on 4 get two kills apiece. Beautiful work. Wow, yeah, that's teamwork, and that is dreamy. Ferenc, they've won out the half on that, Chad. Uh, the uh, cash is still so low, and riders know it. They're coming fast. This could be the tipping point. But this Polish pairing have got an end the one-out half. If you can just win one round here, riders, you can break the balance of ends, right? These last four rounds of play, you take a look at it, it's either one player or two surviving. In the last four rounds, it's been very few members of ends surviving the onslaught that's been coming their way, but up the ladder they come and into this double setup again. Yeah, this firing squad. I mean, Alex was good to hit one before. They're not going to flash it. Oh, actually, Spinks is just dismantled. Now, an even fight. Alex again leaves with the frags. What's putting pressure on B again? Yeah, but they've been good at checking him. Ooh. And a Mac 10 dink. Yeah, you wonder if it's the AK, maybe he gets that kill. A little bit unfortunate there, and now they're just going to limp on in one at a time. Snappy, he's been a hero, this time with the MP9 pushing forward. Davi G spots him first, but dinked on through, and well, he keeps on coming. Snappy takes him down, it's just Alex. Yeah, really brutal. Look at Snappy go. Nearly finished the job right there and then, but maybe Alex's turn to go for an ace clutch. Good luck, have fun, my friend. Already occupied the site. He's made his intentions clear. Oh, but does find the duel onto Deha again. Closes the round out. It's Deha, the, the closer. Four ends at this point. Yeah, if these two are last alive, it feels like they're unable to get through. The riders, they've pushed the issue maybe one too many times. Not getting the bomb down in the last three rounds. It's meant that it's always been a little bit broken, either with Galil's or the MAC-10 that you saw from Mopoz coming on out. They trade efficiently early, but it's just not enough. It's just not enough at all, and it might have to be... Not going to be the easiest job. But Ence's protocols have been great, really well ironed out. Their rotations have been fast and Haven't fantastic they? as well. Just, they find this info and they're finding it safely more often than not. Two here on the B site. Mopoz does have a better weapon for this task. But you can see it's d -Hub and Spinks. Quite pairing. I wouldn't want to trifle with. And Mopoz confirms Spinks on default. Are they gonna push? They're looking like it. Yeah, just on the wide angle with the flash, the perfect pairing, and again, Mopoz is booked. Looks like it's over here. Death does get dinged, still stands vigilant with the Galil. Done well at trading out onto A, and Snappy's very forward here. If he goes down without a kill, a real chance for the riders. You know he's here. Oh yeah, he certainly don't, but he's been here consistently, and oh, he's still a problem. Still such a problem with just the MP9, another kill and a half. They're coming towards A, Hades with the AWP, they have a smoke and a flash to deal with him, but that's about it. Deaths has just shown himself over towards B with some utility that's going to plume next to the generator, and he's going to try and join the party over towards... Hey, is Alex selling? Yeah, he's selling the, the sound cue there, so... Oh, 
Maybe it's a, a fake upon a fake here because he will actually continue back with deaths. They're both so low, 30 seconds left, and, and Sphinx is now residing up close and personal. Should have a freebie right here on the timing. He's looked away, but still gets the kill. The HP of deaths, he's just went over with a swift breeze. Yeah, but now Sphinx has reacted perfectly. Drops his util, makes it hard to find him. Gets to his teammates to enable efficient trading. Look at Madden's utility as well. This one should be done. You're not getting into this site without some headshots, and it's Sphinx that's handing out more. Just Davi G and no hopes. Sphinx with the triple. He joins Deher and Hades at the top of the scoreboard, heading towards the teens. It's 15 on Deher, 12 for Hades, Sphinx, 11. Not a single member of the Movistar Riders has managed to break that double digits. This would be crazy, right? A uh, fighter buy can have any more success. It's a fast day. Eh? That hears it all, and Hades goes for a ballsy peak. We'll drop his util to delay. Floor of flame, they can't really address that. Have to respect that. And now as you round this corner, this turret is established. Madden just wants you to round that corner. He's happy to sit there and take the fight. There will be util throw. Hades already makes himself known. Oh, and it is just one by one short dealt with. Snappy has the Madden still stands ready to receive. Yeah, one by one they've all. Uh, Madden's in the power position right there and he doesn't get anything, right? He doesn't get anything out of all the kills. Well, Hoppers will get the kill onto Hades, but just one more to find, and that is Sphinx who's going to finish him off. They're scrambling to get the AWP. They will pick that one up, and Snappy is an MP9 main this game. Uh, he's just decided, look, boys, I know the buys are a little bit rough, but give me an MP9, and I'll always get us a kill. Finally going to get a rifle in his hands, and the score line is 11 to 1. Nuke waiting in the wings. Yeah, he's got six assists. I wonder how much damage he's actually done. Let's have a look. ADR. Snappy's... Yeah, Snappy is the third highest ADR in the server. He's bang on with Hades. 110 ADR from Snappy. 110 with just 10 kills. That doesn't have to do a lot either, right? He, he's the rotate player. Helps mid, he helps A. Oh, there's more damage for him. Farming him up. He'll take that, won't he? He is very stubborn on short. Like, he is not giving up this space without fight. Well, Mopos is charging straight through. Flashed off in the smoke. More spam damage not landing just yet for Snappy. But look at this! Oh, God, he just takes the jaw so comfortably. He hasn't been allowed to get away. And now Hades is the reaggress. Hades misses his shot. They can swing on him. They know Sandbags is a problem. He's down. Davi G punishes the AWP. Finally dealt with it, but what are you meant to do? You're kind of locked in towards A again. Look at Sphinx's push. He's going to come down this mid ladder at any point. That's an opener. That's a way in. Big one, yeah. I think you may even know there's more to be found on the headshot box. Snappy's still short. And Sphinx is already right behind him on this flank. Someone, Death, is responsible. Snappy sprayed down to four. The bullets are connecting. Sphinx starting to flank. Who will address this? Deher down on the side, but Sphinx shuts down Alex. There he is now. Yeah, and it's Snappy with solo HP. He shouldn't have anything else to contribute. Sphinx, a lot of pressure on his shoulders if he wants to make a round out of this. Turns out having all the AKs does help. Nice shot. I have to call it off now, Sphinx, with a save here. Maybe wanting to do some damage, knowing that the T's don't have a, a great bank balance built here. So if he can take away a gun or two, might be a leg up here. Has a chance, swings on out. Some Pius goes down, the AWP now loose. That is going to blow away. They won't be picking that one up, and another kill would be fantastic. He's kept Dabby near the bomb, gets the kill onto Deaths, and it, everyone's going to go down with the ship here. Dabby will get the kill, but the bomb goes off, and oh, oh. one HP just survives. Yeah, AWP didn't get picked up, though. No chance for that, and so very punishing. In the face of defeat, Sphinx makes it costly. Yeah, and I, I think here, right, you consider how many members went down. Deaths immediately has to go into a Galil. Davi can drop an AK, so they will have three AKs to carry on through, but some Pius won't have his AWP, and he caught Madden slipping there. This frag right here, right, because I think they were trying to tra play transitional. They weren't expecting so much space to be taken. They wanted to continue a bit more aggression over towards the top of a ramp and getting caught off guard. 11 to 2 now, 11 to Four on the way out the door would be a nice way to finish this off, but the spam on through opens up on a Sphinx. Oh, there's more confirmed with the shots back through. Tracer fires there. Hades is down yeah, ramp. Yeah, just charging. More there. The bait and switch works wonders, and already a two man discrepancy. Dump your util. Punish Cage, Alex, and Mopoz. Last seen on B. Now Mopoz arrives. 
to join the party, and it's Madden and Snappy, just as easy as that. 12 already for Ents. Line him up, knock him down. Beautiful play, I loved it. The, the stats you brought up for Vertigo, this is not looking like that Ents. This CT side is so rigid. They've got such a firm grasp of what Mobby Star Riders are trying to do, and they're disruptive. I think one of the things is the desk was pointing out that this was, was seen as a bit of a punish because Mobby Star Riders also don't have a great Vertigo as terms as the stat lines, right? Like, they won it against Big, but they lost it against Endpoint, they lost it against NIP in recent history as well. So uh, their Vertigo isn't fantastic as far as the win percentage goes. So here they've gone, well, what can we exploit of Ents? And Ents have come in and they've prepped hard. They're looking good. They've won some really, really bad two on fours. That's a very easy opener. He's not stopping, is he? Oh, Snappy, Snappy, scary, very scary. It's just angels. This whole round is over. It's just fights, fights on fights and 30. Snappy and co close this one out, four towards mid, one towards B. And that might be the right call as the 1x bet odds have flipped back over into Ents' favor. A ramp called clear, but the rotation is going to be way too late. Deaths, if they split on you, mate, you are dead meat. Oh, oh. Well, you can well, count four. Yeah, he's counted. That's about all. And Death does get a bit of hang time on that click. There Round's goes over. all of their util. And um, so, Nuke. We were talking about Nuke. Yeah, it's a pretty good map. Uh, I like it too. And it definitely does seem like we'll be getting there rather quickly. Unless Davi wins a one-on-four with a P2K, which apparently all the hipsters out these days are equipping. Yeah, that's true. Trying to be different. And succeeding, certainly for Ents, 14, bang on the money. This one is going to be a quickie. Yeah, I, I think there, once you see the setup of Mobi Star Riders and then you see what Ents have opted to go for, you, you can tell the round is over if Death doesn't get a multi-kill. Right? If he does not get a multi-kill in that position, that's the only... The B bomb site is hard enough to retake at the best of times. Imagine a pistol round, close corridors against Glocks. You don't have to imagine, actually. You, you just witnessed it. So... Yeah, this one is quick, and it's going to be a hard loss to suffer, especially after how competitive map number one was, but it's probably better to get it quick and out of the way than to suffer a 16-14 loss that went the other way. Mopo's up close and personal, and he is dead. Snappy. So, he does it on the T side too. And yeah, no dramas with that. Takes his SMG and commits through the smoke. Alex at least able to keep himself alive, and oh, he's dead. He's dead. Madden just misses him. So many different bodies now on that side. They can peek him in unison. There's lots of threats, and they have managed to find another head. And that's very prickly. And they could try and pick up the Galil right now, but they've actually rotated away, expecting that kill. They showed three bodies. I think they assumed that the information from Madam would set them spiraling towards the other side, but that's not the case. The next fight could be Tiha versus Alex over towards Short. This nade might be perfectly placed. Ah. <sighs> He does hit him with his deagle. Eight HP left out of one initially. Oh. And there's the finish. There's the flourish. There's more to be said about this round. Sun Pius spots out Diha. Does connect. Nice work from the pole. Everyone's here. Yeah. A little bit of a hot and spicy game. A wingman fakes out the sight. Deviation from the norm on the plant. Gets away with it, and now they can slink away on a timer where that MP9 loses its potency. Sphinx off angle, good for the first, and just a deagle for Death. He's got got it in him, and so 18 for Diha and Sphinx as they do catapult up to 15. Yeah, this one's over. That was a force by there from the riders. They'll have to do it again. This time it'll be slightly bolstered. You can see a Famous in the mix. There'll be an MP9 out to show. So the full menagerie of weaponry. Actually, maybe not. It is going to be four MP9s and a Famous walk into round number 18. And this might be the quickest game we see in the playoffs. This has been fast as you like. And it's just about closing this one down. And you're going to be feeling great, right? You lose your map choice. You bounce back on their punish pick and you devastate them. And you go into Nuke, where you have a fantastic record in recent history. Sure, you had a bit of an oopsie on your T side just the other day against Fnatic. But you're going to be feeling pretty solid about things. Snappy lining up a Molotov. There you go. Just going to learn that one at home. Download the demo. And Snappy's going to get peppered on through. Now this, you know, it hasn't been a wildly entertaining map if you were looking for some solid Counter-Strike from both, but it's been great to see the Masterclass from Ents. It's had some fantastic moments on the retake. So if you're an Ents fan, you're starting to believe that this semi-final berth is still a possibility. Yeah, so much at stake. It's good to see the Ents are not rolling over after a tough first map. Quite the contrary. Mopus does not choose to engage the smoke. 
And that's the hold from Madden. The frag comes through. Four required. There's another example of not playing in the fade, right? So he moved out of the line and then stepped back into it. Seems to just be more and more what these players are doing these days. Gets himself up short. Ahead of the util, but Alex is good on the MP9. Be 30. Third, yeah. Certainly. Not far off. They are low. Two of them. Madden's healthy. He does have to take responsibility for a little bit of the space to be created here as Sphinx is trying to fake the steps back out. Snappy's in B. So uh, if they rotate now and Snappy can stay alive, get this rotation kill. Oh, maybe he doesn't even have to. Madden just might do it himself. They're racing back to the site. 13 seconds. No HE, no Molotov to stall out the plan. Deaths has to get through a couple of kills and Madden's just going to oh, do it all. Yeah, that's horrible for the boys. But the Movistar Riders and brilliant.